This is Sparta! From boy to a man, a transition that does not happen normally by itself. On the other hand, most girls could easily make it into womanhood as if it's a totally natural process for them. Unfortunately for boys, it doesn't happen the way that it should. Most cultures somehow intuitively know this. The older we go back to history, the more we see how civilizations have had some form of ritual for boys to go through. Some kind of rite of passage before they get recognized in the community. Whether it be going to remote places, surviving alone in an unfamiliar place, or primitively joining a band of hunters when they get their first kill. Well, not so long ago before the social media, this is like the first kiss. However, fast forward today, this idea seemed to have been lost, neglected and forgotten. We stop paying attention to it and worse, we seem to delay everything from facing the real world. The result is, we are seeing boys failing to properly become a man. Hence the term, weak men. In this video, I will give you important points on how to overcome this being weak and start to become a man with self-respect and dignity. You owe it to yourself, so make sure you stay until the end of this video. Am I so, is modernity the main cause of breeding weak men in today's society? Naturally, boys would take their lessons, especially in early life, from their fathers, who eventually become their role model. But what happens when a father's role is absent in a boy's life? In most cases, this is filled by another father figure who possesses some form of command in the family, whether an uncle, older cousin, or even a grandfather. The same way may be said for girls too, in relation to their mothers. This is why a stable family is a solid foundation of society. But what is happening? As of 2021, there are about 11 million single-parent families in America with children under 18. Almost 80% of those single-parent families are single mothers. While certainly not all marriages work, a couple who decides to get married and have a family may always have the best of intentions. On the other hand, seeing children who have been born to unwed mothers could tell a lot of things about the relationship status of their parents. Note how I avoided the term couple, because in reality, the number of children are born out of accident, let's just say. So the question lingers whether the couple is really committed to each other for the long haul or do they even want kids in the first place? Marriage, among other things, is a commitment. Except for physical and financial or legal reasons, a couple who has a child or even children but stays unmarried could mean a lot about their commitment, not only to each other but to the family as well. This kind of situation may be riskier for the children in terms of their development than when their parents are married and really intended to have them. It is unfortunate how we see family values erode throughout the years. In the US, we see the divorce rate fell to a 50-year low in 2019. While this could be a good sign, we see on the other hand that the marriage rate is constantly dropping since 1970. So what does this have to do with you feeling weak, worthless, and lacking self-esteem? Hold up. The following things I have to say are extremely important for you to know. So you better listen carefully from this point on. You might be watching this video and found yourself to be one among the statistics I just mentioned. You might be unfortunate for not having a good role model for a man in society. Or worse, you might even have an abusive father or stepfather. Well, then let me tell you, you don't have to stay that way. Here are five practical steps that you could take to improve yourself and eventually your situation. 1. Accept it. 
Admit to yourself that you have been raised as a weak and fragile boy. Your father may have left you or he wasn't there when you needed him. He wasn't around when you were looking for answers and no one ever told you. He may have even abused you. There's nothing you can do about that. Your only option now is just to forgive him or both of your parents. From this day on, what's important is you refuse to become a victim. Only then, you can learn how to protect yourself. You might be surprised that this comes naturally and intuitively once you take that mindset. Never let yourself become a victim again. A word though, this does not give you permission to hurt or victimize others in return. Don't repeat that same mistake. That's the road you need to take and your first step in becoming a man. 2. Start exercising today, not tomorrow. You can start by taking walks. Long walks help you deal with overthinking and clear your head. Do some strength exercises, push-ups, squats. Exercising improves our mood. In particular, strength training has a positive impact on testosterone, arguably the most important hormone for us males in developing and maintaining our masculine characteristics. Exercise also produces dopamine. Dopamine is the same thing you get by endlessly scrolling, swiping left, etc. But no, not that. So keep your smartphone away for most times of the day. Eventually, keeping a constant exercise routine will help you develop your self-esteem. And don't forget to watch what you eat too. 3. Develop a hobby and or a skill, ideally those that involve working with your hands. And yes, ditch your video games too. If you're trying to become a man, real men don't hide behind their characters and avatars. Our hands are intricately connected to our brains and important to our biological evolution, so use them productively. Depending on your inclinations, you may pick a trade to learn if you can afford it. Eventually, you can have the option to work as a carpenter, an electrician, or a plumber. Or if you have the money, learn electronics or robotics and build some cool stuff. Just learn how to build things. That's what's important. The point is for you to get the skill to fix things in the real world. That's what men do, as they say. 4. Go out and seek rejection. Yes, you heard it right. Rejection. That's an essential part of our social experience. Start by saying hi or hello or greet people across the street. Smile or nod, you're practicing the rudiments of proper social interaction which you should have supposedly learned before you were 12 years old. But that's alright, you can get back in time. So, go out there and practice talking to people. Ask a grocery clerk for a discount even if it's not in their policy. Ask a pizza hut store for extra cheese without necessarily the extra charge. Your goal here is to not to be stubborn and get your way. No. You want to observe people whenever you ask them. In some cases, you can get a yes. But more importantly, you should get used to hearing no. Until you discover that sometimes, no does not necessarily mean no. This is in the context of non-sexual and ordinary social interaction. So please don't try this on women. Well, you might end up, you know, charged for assault, especially these days. Finally, aspire to become a Sigma male. I won't go through lengths of explaining what this is, just ask Google. A Sigma role is your only hope, and arguably your best chance to become a true gentleman. Sigma males often feel free from observing social norms. This would give you less pressure to conform, allowing you more freedom and space to develop yourself. You can find your way once you stop focusing your energy on things which society dictates upon you. You will have the room to find yourself in the process too. But this is something you should tread carefully. There is still social etiquette and common courtesy you always need to follow. You are aspiring to become a man, not a savage beast. What's important here is you can stay quiet, reserved, and focus on your priorities. If you follow the practical steps I mentioned, by now you may find it a lot easier in moving your way to becoming not just a Sigma male but a real gentleman, which nobody has ever taught you before. So there you go, I just showed you how you can get there. If you find this helpful, please smash that like and subscribe button below. Don't forget to also click the bell icon to make sure you won't miss anything from this channel. Thank you, and now, go out there, face the real world.